Fire! I hope you're doing okay. I hope you're feeling all right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. As you just saw, I put the bill up in the top of the screen for you and all to be seen. I'm saying hi to this Bailu because yesterday he made us lose. Or actually, we almost lost that game, I think. Dude, how is my memory of yesterday not working? Uh, he almost made us lose, so he definitely needs that additional positivity. And therefore, we are saying hi again to him. If he hooks me, that's fine. To be honest, it's fine. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. This is actually the first time I'm playing Borgon. I've just bought him. We just unlocked the skin. And that's three kills right at the start of the game. Let's get things going. That is, is a beautiful start. Could not go better. Way to show faith to this toxic teammate. I don't know his voice lines yet. So they're sounding a bit, a little bit iffy to me. Um, but this new skin looks amazing. Look at it. Have you unlocked it yet? Because I hope you did. 10 wins is all it takes. And you get this phenomenal skin. Actually, I love it. It looks so good. I think they did a really great job. Once again, the theme of the skin is often uh, gold, if not always. I'm not sure. The only things I can really recall are the Ares season skin and the um, Solace season skin. Those are those come to mind right away. The other ones, I'm not sure if they're actually gold. The first one, of course, season one was Minerva. Wait, let's see. Season one was Minerva. Season two was Poseidon. Season 3 was Una. Season 4... I don't even dare to say it. Was Season 4 Ares? Look, I don't know. Been away for a couple of seasons. Since Season 8 or 9. Missed a lot. Not actually sure, dude. Hey, it was fun. Maybe you guys can come any, any closer to... You know, deciphering what they were. Oh, nice engage. Of course, we're going for the Arlequin. If we cannot chase her, it's not worth it at all. Levi came over to look for a bit, but he did not really go for it. Mm. Yeah, this could be good. This could be good. Right here. Let's go. Push in. Nice. Nice. Let's go. The Arlequin goes down. That is very, very well strategized. And can he get it? One hit. No. Wait, I think they got it. I think in the end they took it. Oh my god. Psyon players have... Oh, of course you would. Of course you would be here. Oh, I didn't want to use my ultimate. Oh my god. Oh, that was that was a teammate. Dude, everything scares me nowadays. Everything scares me. Holy. Of course you would do that. Psyon players are like the most obnoxious things ever. Because it's not difficult to spot them, but they will not show up on the map while they're invisible. So a gank is so easy to do, and people... I won't shift my screen every single time to the river if there's a ward. So maybe that's just me, I need to do that more often. But hey, 5 assists, we're turning out to be quite the tank here. Oh, the Psyon is so close. Oh, the Bailu just misses that ultimate. Let's kill the dragon. Feels bad. Guys, I've got to say, I've missed you. I've missed you. Over the weekend, I often record a lot of gameplay. Uh, because that's my time off. That's where I spend time with friends, family, loved ones. In the time before the pandemic. But I've actually learned how to say the word. <laughs> I'm so proud. I'm way too proud. I should not feel this proud. But that is also the time where I do not upload and do not see all of your beautiful reactions. So... I mean, I missed you guys. That's honest. That's honesty right there. Four! Five! Get it! Oh my god, this tank is so good! Well done. Borgen feels like a more fun, but kind of the same tank as Bernie. He has that stun, although it is from an, ult from an ultimate. And Borgen, you know, increases his own stats a little bit more. He has that speed up, which is really good. Look at this. I don't know, it feels like a clean tank. I'm actually really proud for them for designing this one. This one actually feels like fun to play. Where Grom let's let's discuss tanks. I mean we don't really have anything to do otherwise. This game seems to be in the bag, even though I promised difficult games. Let's go over the tanks. 
Bernie, all round good tank. Best one they made in the earlier seasons. Murdoch actually seems to be good as well. Pick Murdoch if you're fi facing a more mage, mage kind of team. So say you're fighting uh, one mage, like a Vyra or Fleur, uh, combined with the... Oh my god, I'm in a big trouble here. I'm not in a good spot. Oh, I tried brushing out. Oh, still got it. Oh, I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm saving my teammate. Oh, he got out as well, dude. That's what you get for not knowing the uh, the Levi. I don't know the hero. He's 7 million points. I don't have him. I did not expect him to go out that easy. Back in or out that easily. My bad. My bad. Anyways, Murdoch. Good for the team where you're facing Elvira or Fleur. Potentially with a Kronos on the side. If they have two mages and Kronos, even better. Can never be contained by mere mortal. Your team has destroyed a fort. Then, uh, what do we have? Murdoch is for mages. Bernie is a good all round tank. Grom? Um, I think that Grom should get a remake or his hook speed should be a little bit faster. It is very, very difficult to land a lot of hooks, even if you predict it right. It's just too slow, so people can still dodge it pretty effectively. Apart from me, I cannot, but most people can really dodge it well. So that's missing. Raker is fun as well. He has that upgraded form. Ooh, almost got both of those. You expect the Astrid main to be doing that a lot better than I did there. <laughs> so Raker, good. He has that lift. He has the pull in, so he has a tank set that you would like for team fights. Also the upgraded form really helps with the HP regen. So I would say that's pretty solid tank. Uh, bomb bomb, great HP recovery, but a little bit more offensive. I wouldn't. I, I mean, he's a tank, but because he his I ultimate, feel. you know, renders him invisible, his teammates are going to get attacked. So bomb bomb would be more of a durable hero, but more of a durable assassin hero in the end. Nazar. I mean, if you combine Nazar with Lin Lin. You might get some funky, some funky children, some funky combinations out of that. Because they both hit the entire map. If you combine that with the new hero who can teleport everywhere on the map, I think you could get a lot of free kills. Some pro team will have to test that. But it could be fun. Nice, I'll take, can somebody help me with this? So Nazar not good enough i mean to engage you need to hit that second skill the card throw the aoe is pretty good and the ultimate like Carthus, is uh quite strong but he's not a complete tank he's not he doesn't have it he doesn't have what it takes enemy tower. Your fort has been what other tanks are there that are really good i think we have kind of named all of them i might be missing out Attack. some I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure. I might have missed out on one or two. Oh, better run. Oof! That just missed. That just missed. I'll have to check in later. I'll keep thinking about it. Maybe I'll come to one or two more, but... Yeah. I don't think that tanks are necessarily in a bad state. They are getting more fun to play. Especially if you have a good team backing you up. Oh! Nope, you're not. Oh my god, the the uh, Lunaria ultimate was there as well. And of course, Psion, the leech, comes to take that kill. I mean, what else did you expect? But so far, so good. This game has seemed rather easy. I want to promise that tomorrow I'll be doing a upload that will have a close match. But I cannot guarantee it. It just depends. I can't, I can't say what I'm going to get. So you better just tune in again. That's, that's like the best plan. Yo, okay, uh, Rautap. Rautap is actually a tank as well. And we have Lilith. So for Rautap, he's pretty good, but... He can make sure that you get that one priority target out of the way. That one sneaky unit that always gets away. But other than that, if he misses it, if he messes it up, 
So it, let's say everything goes perfect, you always have a 4v5 because you get that one pick. So he could be good. Lilith, definitely underrated. Would also be more of a durable assassin in my opinion. She is tanky. She can take out enemies because they're trying to kill her but take damage themselves. So she is extremely good but not really a tank player. She's not going to just walk in and tank let's for the entire team. The Whereas a hero like Zhang Fei does that a lot better. That would actually be one of my favorites to win this as well. Let's get Sakaar. I mean, we have almost pushed into the base, but they're defending it really well. So in order to, you know, guarantee that we're getting it, we're going to take Sakaar. And we are in a good position to do so because they're just, you know, they're scared to leave their base. Oof, sucks that he goes down. We actually need a lead by to, you know, pick up one or two off. But so far, uh, I really do enjoy this build because of the dodge chance we have. The HP regen is great. Um, the armor and resistance are great. So, I mean, if you have so much HP and so much defense and you're dodging one third of all attacks, you're in a good place. Oof, I, that AoE's root was not really placed well there. Yep, we know he's coming. We know he's coming for our marksman. We know he's coming for him. Come on, yeah, we killed him. Nice, nice. Good. Let's keep their tank busy. Let's make sure the tank, uh, even though he's trying to make it over there, takes as much damage as he can. And, dude, we're just 1v1ing people at this point. Levi, come, please come quick, 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 quick. Help me out. Oh, he missed that. He missed that attack. Great. Still possible. Let me regen some health. I mean, give us 20 seconds and we're up to full health again. But, try this hero out. Give him, give it a chance. I mean, I actually prefer playing this hero over a lot of assassins, and that is crazy for me to say. But I might actually be somebody who's willing to play tank now because of this hero. I would not really like to play Bernie because with Bernie you're very dependent on teammates. But this tank can actually do so much damage and control by himself. That's kind of the difference. I don't really feel the Bernie. That's just me, that's just me. Okay, okay, teammates are fighting amongst each other, that's not good. We are taking every objective, we have still have two of our ba uh, first towers standing. Yup, knew it, knew it, so obvious. Trying to dodge the Grom, let's go, beautifully executed there. Psyon gets away, so he might be able to kill Bailu, who's falling back as we speak. He's probably going to be chasing him. But... If you're facing a, a Grom, what you want to do in these situations is make sure you split them up. He has an ultimate that can root, but if you're both on the opposite side of him, that's not really going to work. Somebody help me with this? Look at how OP this HP regen is. I'm literally losing 1% health per second. That's all. I can tank that for one and a half minutes. That's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. But guys, thank you so much for enjoying this episode. I think this should be it. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We are growing so fast and I I just can't believe where we're going. Please, be a part of that. Hit that subscribe button. I appreciate all of my subs. I try to get back at all the comments down below. So, play something there. I appreciate you. See you next time. Peace out.